Hey everybody, we're back here, taking advantage of Thanksgiving break while I can to get some more recording done, since, uh, family was too busy to, uh, come this year. So, I'm gonna go after that one over there. That's my goal. Before we, uh, get on the plot train. I don't think there's anything else out here. But if I swim, I'm gonna get bit by a hagfish. This mission or next mission. I'm not too worried about spoilers. I played through like half the game earlier, and you guys could had the potential to watch that. You probably didn't because it was a dumb idea on my part how I was doing it. Anyway, we have like 300 times the mobility that we used to. Which is cool. I don't think I've ever gotten up here. Not that I think there's anything up. I saw a pixel. Let's see what Admiral Havelock has to say, since that's where I'm being directed. Yes, I know, there's a swarm of them. I'm just ignoring them, they don't exist. I don't think anything has Attention respawned as far as money goes. River traffic is forbidden from landing. Risk of infectious contact. 
Violators will be taken way. to the flooded district for treatment and rehabilitation. That's the door. Right there. We can't get in there yet. I mentioned it last time, and you guys were wondering. That's the door. But I'm sure you already know. I'm not exactly treading new ground here. Well, let's get down to it. Okay. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Or you could look elsewhere in the family tree. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Hell Pits. Maybe. Glad to see you got your rest, Corvo. You'll need it. <sighs> so rude. Like I'm in game or something. You two look like you're gonna talk. Good day, Master Corvo. I had a sailor for a boyfriend once. He thought he'd strike gold digging in the Pandisian Cliffs. They found his ship drifting empty. That'll happen. Stay away from Pandisia. Doesn't mess around. Are you a nobleman, Corvo? No one seems to know much about you. By your bearing, I'd say so. Lord Pendleton's great-grandfather took a Sokonan chambermaid to wife. On second thought, the story doesn't bear repeating. Even the finest blood can go bad here and there. Gossip. Anyway, nope, we don't go down there this time, but we have a mission from this lady. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison, and I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. Maybe. Just wondering, sir, if you thought about perhaps seeing Piero before. Ready to go? Oops, Just give the signal. Mean, uh, skip your dialogue there. I was uh, trying to put away my sword. I'll be here. Well, let's go see Piero then and see if he has something to say. It's all the same key, F. You mentioned Piero, so let's go say hi to Piero. It's door to nowhere. That's it. What can I do for you? I don't know. Probably nothing. Nope. I will take your key, though. Door to nowhere is proven to be a safety hazard. But for me, this project is an endless source of inspiration. Proper application of energies, I believe I can transform the door frame into a window of sorts. Will allow a traveler to cover the distance from any work from my workshop to some distant arbitrary point in a single step. Currently this step leads to a sheer drop straight down into the courtyard, but in time it will bridge gaps that boggle the mind. Such work is many years away, to be sure, but if I survive this plague, I'm sure to succeed. Little 
be seeing that design somewhere else, I think. It does look a lot like the Outsiders, uh, doodlings. Ready to go? Just give the signal. Well, fine. On with the mask. So freaking claustrophobic. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. There are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. We'll be seeing all of them. The fire was going. Uh, pop off that little section of health the hagfish took from me. Let's go. It's nearly midnight. But easy, damn it. Keep him in the boat. Canal's got enough shit in it as it is. Uh, hey! What is it? I think that last one was moving. Uh, what? Yeah, the little one. Not possible. I inspected them myself. Keep working. Well, he ain't moving no more. <laughs> <laughs> Two, three. Good. Heat. Keep them coming. Corpse boats. Creepy. Oh, One, two, fuck. Three. Disgusting. Heat. Mr. Stomp. Civilians don't care about me, but I do care about them. Attention Dunwall citizens. Following direct contact with an infected or weeping individual, you are required to remain in isolation for two continuous days. You don't care, right? Days. Please. If I'm a bit shaken right now. Occur, I saw some terrible things to today. The flooded imagine. Mm -hmm. like Attention Dunwall citizens. This is a special announcement from our Honorable Lord Regent. This is the Lord Regent speaking. It is with regret that I announce that my term as Lord Regent has been extended through the month of harvest and potentially beyond. In addition, in this continuing crisis, all these rats the crawling all over the Abbey of the Everyman remain in service to the state and are empowered with force order whenever and wherever necessary. Not a pass All the others Maybe wind or something. It's nearly. Charm over there. They are bringing the waves. They are. What they do. <laughs> We are here. We want to get to uh, there. We go there at some point in the future. Also there. But we can check out those places. <laughs> 